So oh, hello everybody. My name is Almin. I'm the concept author of Face Economics, which is um, the utilization of the social media platform in economic development. My passion has always been helping others and, and you know providing a uh, hand in capacity building and economic development, um, not just in frontier emerging markets, but also in developed markets like the U.S. So I've decided I'm going to do a presentation on creating economically thriving countries using social media. Just a little bit about me. I, I don't want to put too much time on this. Uh, you all can see that I'm also a published author, public speaker, you know, former Virginia Economic Development Partnership Special Assistant. Uh, I'm, I've also served in the U.S. Peace Corps in Eastern Europe and have collaborated with various international uh, organizations that are well known um, and have also run as a U.S. Senate candidate in the state of Virginia. But one title that I'm most proud about is being Bella, my baby, my fur baby's daddy. I've adapted her when I was uh, in the U.S. Peace Corps serving in Eastern Europe. So that's just a little bit about um, my background. So why use social media and economic development worldwide? Well, for one, it's never been used before. It, never in human history, it was uh, social media was available to humanity. So today we can use social media to promote prosperity and eradicate poverty. We can champion peace and diplomacy, stabilize government, the rule of law via job creation, increase local market productivity and skills development. By promoting prosperity and eradicating poverty, uh, the best way to do that is, uh, you know, giving uh, an investment and tourist destination uh, exposure via social media to any country or any, uh, you know, community worldwide. You can also, you know, share emerging interesting community projects with the world or just among, you know, your friends and families. Um, that they might have never heard about. It also increases the acumen of the local population through do-it-yourself and capacity building. As you all know, you can watch a YouTube channel nowadays and any other platform and learn through them uh, um, various skills and, and educate yourself to advance. Uh, you know, it also stabilizes government and the rule of law uh, it enhances local market development, job creation, and, and public management, increased public awareness and safety. As you all know about the, you know, with what's going on with the coronavirus, most of the people didn't even know about the coronavirus up until it became viral, quote unquote viral, uh, on social media. And it's a great way to also interact uh, with, you know, the public authorities through rapid response uh, via social media. So public policy and proof of cost of transparency also for lawmakers to be able to share their ideas and thoughts on certain laws and policies. Uh, it increases local market productivity and skill development through knowledge transfer in real time and on demand. Um, also provides access to subject matter expert worldwide through your social media network. Uh, you know, it's obviously lowered the barrier to time zone difference worldwide. You can interact with anyone uh, on your social media platform, regardless of the time. It's very intuitive and flexible uh, knowledge transfer platform between two individuals or professionals. Um, it also champions peace and diplomacy you know, by sharing your culture with other people and, and helping you know others uh, learn a little bit more about yourself and, and you know that most people might not know about when or uh, you learning about other cultures uh, of people that don't think and look and have similar education as you. It also demystifies the most important thing is demystifying cultural barriers and, and norms and traditions around the world. And with that, it embraces peace and through digital diplomacy via social media. I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch this quick, quick overview of why I believe social media is going to be. Uh, the next frontier in terms of taking down barriers 
uh, in culture and economic development worldwide. Um, thank you for your time. Feel free to follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Kathy on Twitter and Instagram, and obviously to our podcast. Take care. Bye-bye.